What is going on, my friends? And welcome to workout two of the five minute movement challenge. I'm so excited for day two. We're here making it work just like workout one. There's no equipment to this, and this is a five minute workout. There's going to be four moves. Each move is going to be a minute long with a 20 second rest. If you want to make that 20 second rest more like a active recovery where you want to throw in jumping jacks instead of just fully recovering, you can do that too. Whatever feels right for you. I want to be able to make this workout work for you. Of course, I will be showing those modifications, those low impact options. Remember, you are the CEO of your body, baby. You get to decide what works for you. As always, make sure that you subscribe, take the sweaty selfies, thumbs up, leave me a comment at the end of this workout, and let me know what you were most proud of. Let me know, let me know. I love celebrating you, and that's why I really wanna emphasize those sweaty selfies, connecting with me on Instagram, connecting with me on TikTok, writing those comments, all help me celebrate you. With that being said, let's go over what the first move of this workout is, and let's get into it, baby. All right, so first move is going to be a step, step, hold. I'm going to show you two different modifications for this. So you're either going to give me the full out version, which is going to be a step, step, hold, step, step, hold, step, step, hold. Yes. Or the modification version of it, which would be step over, tap, tap, step over, tap, tap. Completely up to you. Whatever feels right. Let's go. Seconds. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. In three, two, one, breathe. Next move is going to be ski jumps. So, knees slightly bent. We're going to pop over. We're going to go. Pop over. Soft landing. Pop over. Modified would be step, step, kick. Step, step, kick. Let's do it. Seconds, 30 seconds. Don't you dare give up on me. Don't you dare give up on me. Let's go. Let's go. Ten seconds right here. Next up is gonna be planks. You can do this on the wall. Hands right here, squeeze that butt, push down. You could do it on the ground, in a tabletop, on the knees, or full out. I'll go through all of them so you can see what it looks like in motion. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, every modification that you're doing, we're pushing down on that core, like we're pushing something out and squeezing that butt together. You have 
have 20 seconds left. Let's go. Three, two, one, breathe. Last move are gonna be punches. So you can give me a double punch, double punch, double punch, double punch, yeah? If you wanna add weights to this to make this a little bit more higher intensity, go right ahead, go right ahead. Let's do it, baby, in three, two, one, let's rock. Give me that dance. Give me that dance. A, 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 A. What? What? <laughs> My friends, I am so beyond proud of you. Thank you so much for rocking out for workout two. We only have one more day left. Workout three. Workout three. Listen, leave that comment. Let me know what you are most proud of. I just want to let you know that I'm so proud of you. Five minutes, that's it. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself. Movement should be fun. Movement is not a punishment, and that's what I want you to remember through these workouts, all right? Keep that proud moment like a badge of honor on you. You know, like sometimes it's not about, here's the thing, crossing the finish line is crossing the finish line, whether we do it with grace or whether we are crawling into that finish line. The common denominator is that you're still crossing that finish line, and that's what I want you to think about. That's what I want you to think about. Don't punish yourself on the way to the finish line. Just celebrate the fact, no matter how you got there, that you're crossing that finish line, all right? I love you so much. I will see you for workout three, our final workout. Have a powerful day, my friends.